Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So that little rascal, Mega Dan, Dan, Mega Dan 29. He uh, he left a comment saying, "Hey, you're pretty good at NES games, Will. Um, what are like your top five hardest NES games you've ever beat?" And I thought, man, that'll make a great list. So let's get to it. With the NES being my favorite system of all time, it'll come to no surprise that I've sunk in more time into this machine than most folks have. No word of a lie, I've finished well over 200 plus NES games and that counter is still rising well into my 30s. So here it is Slugger Dan, my top 5 list of hardest NES games I've ever beaten so far. Longtime viewers will know that Punch-Out was one of the first handful of games I ever played. So it's no surprise that the dreaded hands of Iron Mike makes this list. To this day, I can get to the dream fight with very little problems, but the final bout itself? Well, that's another story. While I did eventually finish this game in my early 20s, I still mean to come out of retirement and try for that perfect record. The Adventures of Fire Billy! Surprised to see this one? Don't be. Our Cajun comrade is up to his neck in gator soup and it's a slog to get through. Whether it's the constant counter-punching enemies of the beat-em-up levels, or the placement of various hazards you can crash into in the jeep stages, Bayou Billy took me near a full week to put together a winning run. I nearly did the dance of joy when I finished off Gordon and his lackeys. Suffice it to say, stick with the Famicom version called Mad City as that version is way easier. My buddy Nefarious West did a fantastic video comparing both the Famicom and the NES versions of Bayou Billy, so check that one out. <coughs> Master Higgins' first island romp took me close to half a day to beat, and thank god this game had a continue code because that was the only way I could finish it. What starts as a fairly simple platformer becomes an entirely different beast towards the end. The enemy placements and platforms you have to maneuver around are just near insane. The difficulty cranks up even more if you don't have that stupid tomahawk. Surviving this game is like a badge of honor and I'm glad to never beat this game again. <coughs> One night around 8.30 I popped this sucker in thinking I could get a few practice rounds in. Not thinking I would make any serious headway. Lo and behold, I get on a huge roll and get stuck at the last level. It's 1 o'clock in the morning now and I'm still trying to finish that stage from hell. Leaping from pillar to pillar over vast pits and obstacles is so stressful, I almost threw in the towel the first half hour. But for some reason, I had a thought that if I didn't persevere, I'd never play the game again. Well, 3am rolled on and I just finished World Runner. I was so happy to finish this game, but even happier to get some sleep. Surprised, are you? Kung Fu Heroes is a simple game. Kill 12 enemies, reach the doors at the top, to move on to the next stage. Simple, right? As far as NES games I've finished, Kung Fu Heroes single player is no joke. Like a lot of games I mentioned already, this was an all day battle that tested my patience to the limit. Getting that 12 enemy count when you're avoiding large dragons and unigon demons as well as traps is easier said than done. And if you don't have all 10 sacred treasures, you can't beat the game. By the time I had finished Kung Fu Heroes, I swore I would never touch this game again. It's fun, it's good, it's a great two-player game, but single-player, no way. So there you have it, Mega Dan. My top five personal list of hardest NES games I've beat so far. Let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts on the hardest NES games you've beaten. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Will, and for those about to retro, we salute you. Take care. Eleven world-class contenders. Take them down with your controller, beat them all, and you've got a shot at Tyson's title. Power! But for that, you've got to beat Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power.